Right, through, go. Right, boys, here's your task. It's about ratio. I need to be able to share things out in proportion and simplify. There you go. Oh, ratio, I hate oh, ratio. I hate ratio. Who knows about ratio? Oh, I think Mr Ward does. Wardo, let's go and see. Let's go. Okay, so the first part of Mr Tucker's task is to be able to cancel down ratios. Mr Ward's in this room. We'll go and see what he can do with them. Wardo will help. Yeah, Wardo's going to help. Wardo. Me. Mr Ward. Hello. Can you help us? Certainly. Mr Tucker like says it's a task again. Oh, yeah. We need to be able to cancel down ratios. Oh, I can help with that, sir. Can you? Yeah, so you. Go on board. In fact, I'm going to pick the hardest one first. If you look over this side of the board, and I've got a ratio of 80 to 16. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to simplify. Now, I've picked the hardest one deliberately. I'm going to simplify. I'm going to pick a common factor. Okay? Now, that common factor is going to be 2. Nice and easy. They're both even numbers. I'm going to divide by 2. Uh, so if divide I divide by, by two. 2. Even numbers. Yeah? yeah. I've got 80 divided by 2 is 40. Like it. 16 divided by 2 is 8. Now, yeah. is that as simple as possible, Mr. Gill or Mr. Middleton? Well, I, you know, if you've divided by 2 before, I'm sort of thinking both of those would divide by 2 again. Oh, brilliant. That's what, exactly what I'm going to do. What do we need it to be then to be simple? What's the idea? Oh, well, if I show you, if you bear with me a second, okay, I'm going to divide by 2 again. So you mm. can see how I'm setting out 40 divided by 2, 20, 8 divided by 2, yeah. Like it. Yeah, and what yeah. I'm going to do, I'm going to keep going. Yeah, I'll okay. divide both of them now by another two. So like, you see what I'm doing again? 10 to 2, okay? And then I'm going to do it one more time. And you should see that actually, this is as far as I can go because there are no more common factors to 5 and 1 apart from themselves. Apart from themselves. Now that is the simplest product ratio we can find. Okay? Really? Look at the next one 56 to 7. Yeah. I can't divide it by a small number, so I'm going to have to think, what number goes into 7 and 56? Do you gentlemen know? Ah, uh, well, uh, 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh, 8, 7's and 8's and something. 7 and 8's and something close. 7 times 8 is 56. Ah, uh, yeah. So I'm going to divide them by 5, 7. So I know that there is one 7 in 7, and I know, as Mr Middleton has just said, there are 8 7's in 56. Uh, Simplest ratio? Eight to one. Okay, uh, last one. Same thing. A little bit harder because it's outside your ten times table. But I know if that ends in a zero, we can divide it by five. So if I divide by five, how many fives go into five? I believe that is one. It was last time I checked. Sixty divided by five. I know that fifty divided by five is ten. Oh. And there's ten left over, and ten uh, divided by five is two. So if I did the ten plus the two, ooh, I end okay. up with. 12. 12. 12 to 1. There we go, gentlemen. Marvellous. Simplifying ratios. So what you're saying to us, Mr Ward, is 60 to 5 simplifies down to 12 to 1. Exactly. Divided by 5. 56 to 7 divides down to 8 to 1. That's the 1. And all those steps over there... Divide by two, divide by two, divide by two, divide by two. Is there a quicker way of doing that one on the end, Mr. Well, Ward? Actually, yes, there is. Because if you think about it, I know if I'm looking at 80 and 16, if I was clever enough, okay, for you bright ones out there, I know that eight, you can divide both of them by eight. Ah. Right? 80 divided by eight is 10. 16 divided by eight is two. Okay, and you can see that I've gone straight down to that step already. Ah. All these steps in between. But never be afraid, if you've got big numbers, don't be afraid to break down into small steps. Wonderful. Thank you very much, Mr. Ward. You're a genius. You, Thank you. Okay, so the second part of Tucker's task this week is to sort out sharing an amount into an ratio. <laughs> Ooh, that sounds hard. That Mr. Sounds Hudson's in here. Mr. H. He knows maths and that. Let's do it. Let's go in there and see what, what he can do for us. Challenge Hudson. Hudson. Oh. We've got a question, actually. Good plan, and here's one we made earlier. We've got a question up there. Can you help us work through that? Right. We've won some money on the lottery. Hey. We've won one thousand two hundred pounds. How are we going to split it up? Oh. Mr. Middleton has bought three tickets. Yes. Mr. Gill has bought two tickets. Unluckily, I only bought one. Oh. Uh, Cheapskate. Mark for me. Mark. So we've got one thousand two hundred pounds, and we need to split it up into six parts. So how'd you get six parts? Mr. Miller's got three parts. Right. Mr. Gill's got two parts. And unluckily, I've only got one part. Ah, oh, so you add them all up. Total. Add, add them, them all up. up. How yeah. am I going to split £1,200 into six equal parts? Uh, right. Double it. Uh, yeah, no. No. Cut it up. Divide. 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 We're going to divide by six. <laughs> How do I do that? Uh, six is into 100 is lots. Uh, 60 to 200, more. More, lots, lots and lots. 
I'll give you a clue, it's 200 pounds. Wow, sir. Oh, uh, yeah, because there's two sixes, sixes in 12. 12. And we got 100 of them. Like it. Yeah, good. Brilliant. So, that means each of these tickets is worth 200 pounds. Ah. Oh, Mr. Middleton, Ooh. here he is. He's bought three tickets. Lucky Ooh. Mr. Middleton. Mr. N there. Mr. Gill, with his curly hair, has bought two tickets. And Mr. Hudson at the end has bought one. So. Surely should be a bit fatter, that one then. Oh, yeah, there you go. If I've bought one ticket, and each ticket's worth £200, how much have I earned? Or oh, one, sorry. Two, 200, 200 quid. Pounds. 200 pounds, £200, yeah, yeah, like yeah. it. Yeah, wish I bought more tickets. Yeah, like I did. Mr. Gill, he's bought two tickets. Two, if one ticket's two, 200, so four, 400 pounds. 400 pounds. <laughs> Mr. Middleton, the clever man. Big bucks. Maybe gambling man, you could say. Wow. He's bought three tickets. How much is that going to be worth? Three, three two, two six. six. 600 pounds. 600 pounds. Ooh. Are we sure of these answers? How could we check ourselves to see if this is right? How much did we have to start with? Uh, 1,200 pounds. Right, let's, check, let's add this up. 600 and 400 is... 10 hundreds. 10 hundreds, yeah. 1,000, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, 200 gives me... 10,200. Or 1,200. 1,200, sorry. The yeah. mass department has won 1,200 pounds. Whee! Whee!